Good morning, it's Hazel Jarvis, it's Art Online. This is the eighth week of this summer term and it's our final week and we are going to be celebrating summer fruit and summer vegetables. So I start with a very rough sketch, but you probably can't see it because it's so pale in this light. It's kind of a grey day as we have the tropical storm moving and through. And I us. also have with me a, a zucchini just to prompt me should I need it. So I'm going to begin by painting in the squash that are hanging down. And I'm going to start uh, with a yellow and move to a green and I'm going to paint so very well. I like wet. to drop a little bit of water into each of the colours that I think I'm going to be using just because it softens them and it makes it easier to pick up the colour. So I'm going to start with my yellow, number 40. I load my brush, I've got lots of water on and lots of paint and I just stroke down the side very lightly. And I just press very lightly so that the paint flows from the brush onto the paper. I'm going to grab a little bit more yellow and just bleed that in. And then I'm going to go to a slightly darker color. I'm going to go to my indigo and I'm just going to put in a tiny touch on the far side. And you can see how nicely the darker paint flows into the wet paint that's already there. Now I have a great bubble of paint at the bottom, so I take my paper towel and I just soak up a tiny bit. And if I feel the paint is too dark, I can also take that paper towel and run it down my squash, or run it up rather, just to get a little bit more of a highlight. So here is our first squash done and he looks beautiful and round and quite delicious. So I don't want my squash to be all completely green so I'm going to begin the next one with my yellow number 43 which is a warmer yellow. So I'm going to just run that paint down and then I'm going to take a little bit of green Bleed that in very softly and then back to my indigo for a darker side. Now we have two of our five zucchini or two of our five squash painted and I'm going to paint in the other three in the same way but I'm just going to vary the greens and the oranges and the yellows. We already painted in and I don't want to do just five squash. I want to bury them in, in the hanging leaves and on the vine. So I'm just going to draw in, you probably can't really see it very well, but I'm going to draw in a couple of leaves to cover part of the squash. So now you can see where I have the leaf actually covering the squash or partially covering and the squash. At this point, uh, my squash are too wet to paint. So I'm going to go back to my photograph. I'm going to look and see where the leaves and the stems are. And I'm going to draw a few of those in. Start with a pale yellow mix it with a little bit of the green and I just start to paint in a couple of my leaves. So a little bit of paint on, push it right up to the edge and very slowly bring it down. Painting in a couple of my leaves, I start with a nice big wet area of my chosen color and I just gradually pull the color down. And I'll paint a little way with that and then I'll introduce another colour 
perhaps my favorite indigo, just so that the leaf seems to go back and forward in space and there's a little bit of variation. And I'm working wet so that the edges all keep soft and they bleed into nice each dark, other. Like this one. And then the one that's going behind the squash over here, I'm going to add some periwinkle, 61 to the mix, to just gray it down and keep it nice and pale and push it back. To vary the shape of my squash, I add just a little bit at the end where the flower would have been. To load up with my indigo, 67, and a little bit of green, maybe 51, and just do a couple of quick light marks, just quick light strokes on my zucchini or my squash, just to give them a tiny bit of shape. And that's going to look just like that. Putting in my last leaf after having had to wait quite a long time for everything to dry. So in it goes, and I want it to be quite strong. So I start with a blob of paint in the center, and then I'm going to add a little bit of indigo, you guessed, just to really make sure it's nice and dark. And that's going in at the base of the leaf. And then I'm going to switch to another green. I'm going to go to, I think it's 58. And pull some of that in. It's a nice dark green. And I'm just going to complete painting in this leaf. Uh, we're almost done, apart from putting in the stems. And we have a little bit of a, a space over here. So you could fill that in as Utamaro did by adding an insect, or you could fill it in with uh, perhaps a recipe for how to use zucchini, or I'm going to fill it in with another sun image since it is after all August. And even though it's raining at the moment, uh, I feel we should enjoy the so sunshine. This time we don't have a, a blotch to deal with. I'm going to paint in a nice orange-yellow circle for my sun. And I'm going to look at some medieval imagery of the sun to inspire me. Paint the stems in with a very light green sure that uh, all the paint is completely dry, I take my eraser and I just erase where I've got my pencil line defining the stem. A tiny bit more definition to the stem, so I'm going to take a darker green and I'm just going to put a thin line on one side of Finish the stem. Finish up with, just with some wonderful twizzles too, just like this. So you're going to take your very sharp, finest brush you're going to load up with paint. You're going to knock off a little bit of the extra. You're going to think about where it would start. It's going to originate from the stem. And then you're just going to dance the brush over the page and do a twizzle or two. So hopefully you can see that twizzle. So there are a number of different ways you could finish up this painting. You could add white detail. You could do more of the vine work and more of the tendrils. You could expand the sun or you could add some insects as Utamaro did. But whatever you do, I can't wait to see what you do. And think about doing not just squash, you could do corn, you could do tomatoes, you could do anything that inspires you. So thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you sometime in September.